What's up guys? I'm Jacob and this is... I'm Chase. Good to see you guys again. Okay, so Chase, I've seen you walking around town and there's a new addition to your outfit. The crown. What's going on? Yeah, so like, it's been about a month since I've gotten it, but I turned 26. Like, oh, it's your birthday. birthday. Yeah. Oh, so cool. Yeah, so you know, whenever you turn 26, there's a lot of life changes. But oh, the best yeah. change is you get a crown whenever you sign up for health insurance. It's amazing. <laughs> that is so cool. Yeah. Okay, and so I heard your birthday a month ago, you gathered people together yeah, through a big party. Which reminds me time. what we're doing. Who gathers his people? God gathers his people. Okay, let's do it. Well, let's, let's try it one more time. Let's do like fish out of water. Okay, so you're like jumping like, yeah, like wobbling, wiggling and slimy. Here okay, cool, right? Who gathers his people? God gathers his people. Okay, awesome. awesome. But you look like you were maybe dancing a little bit, you know? Like oh, you, yeah. I mean, I love dancing and then I also love freezing, which reminds me of another thing. Yeah. It's freeze dance time! <laughs> That was a blast. And you guys look great out there. But now it's time to go to the Lord before we get to the teaching. Will you pray for us? Let's do it. God, thank you so much for today. Thank you for sending your son, uh, Jesus, down the cross for us to save us and give us a relationship with you. God, just pray over this teaching today that your words would be spoken and that we would understand uh, today's lesson. Um, we love you so much. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Awesome, guys. Let's get to the lesson. kids and welcome to the part of our time together where we learn from God's Word. So I'm excited to hang with you guys today and I was thinking of starting today off by playing a little game. Do you guys like games? Well this game is called Two Facts and a Fiction where I'm gonna tell you three different facts but one of them is gonna be a lie and you have to figure out which one it is. Ready? So fact number one. I was born in Virginia. It's a different state besides Texas. Fact number two, I'm missing one toe. Fact number three, I am a licensed scuba diver. All right, I'll give you guys 10 seconds to try and guess which one you think it is. Number one, number two, or number three, which one is the lie? Here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one, zero. Okay, I heard a lot of you guys say that you don't think I actually scuba dive, but you would be wrong because I have all 10 of my toes. Thank you very much. So, now that we've got that game out of the way, I wanted to tell you guys about a time in the Bible where someone was also telling a lie, but it wasn't a game and it was not very funny. You see, there's a story about this husband and wife who, well, they lied to trick church leaders. They lied to God. Let's see what that looks like. 
so many great shows. Uh, Barnabas, I, I can't believe that you sold your field and, and are giving the money to the church so that to help people in need. You know, that's what the church is for. It's so great to be part of it. It really is. Like, we don't have any needs in our church. They're all met from our community. Oh, it's gosh. so beautiful. The church is, is just such a beautiful place. Yes. Yeah. Okay, we could sell some of our land just like Barnabas. I mean, did you see that? Everyone seemed to love him and give him all the attention. You're right, I bet people would love us just as much. Yes, yes, okay, <sighs> and guys, I have an idea. What if we sold some of our land and give just some of our money to the church and kept the rest for ourselves? We'd be rich. Yes, and help the church all at the same time. <sighs> hmm. Remember when I said that we were gonna learn about a husband and a wife that would trick church leaders? Well, that's Ananias and Sapphira, who we just saw. They were talking about selling some of their land, but only giving some of the money, part of the money, to the church. But let's see if they actually do it. Ananias, yeah, guys, yeah. someone just told me that they want to buy our field yes. and give us a lot of money. So I think our plan is going to work. Okay, so this is what I'm thinking. Okay. I think that we, we should not tell Peter about any of the money that we're keeping. I think we should tell him that this is all the money that we, we got from the sale. Yes, I think that sounds good. This can just be that we're the fact that we're keeping a little money will be yeah. just our little secret. And we're still helping people, right? Right! Yeah! Peter, Peter. Hey, uh, so Sapphira and I just sold uh, our land and this is everything from the sale and we just wanted to give it to the church and y'all use it however you want to. Um, we're just glad we could give it. It's all of it. This is everything? This is everything from the sale. Ananias, why, why are you lying to the Holy Spirit? You, you not only lied to me, you've lied to God as well. Sapphira, Sapphira, tell me, uh, I sh have a quick question for you. Sure, Peter, what's up? Uh, is this all of the money that you and your husband got from selling your property? Yep, that's all of it. Why have you chosen to test the Lord? Your your husband lied as well, and he he's now dead and has been buried. What? And I dead? And I'm afraid the same thing is going to happen to you. That was... Crazy. It really was. Oh. And so heartbreaking. Why would they choose to lie about their money? And to lie to us and to God like that? Yeah. But you know, there are consequences to sin. Mm. And sin's a big deal. Yeah. And as our church, we shouldn't take it lightly. No. Well, this is a really hard story to watch happen. Uh, I mean, after Ananias and Sapphira lied, they both died immediately, which is crazy. There are two main things I want to point out here. First of all, this really did happen in the Bible. Although it's a crazy story that we hope, uh, that we, hope we never hear about happening in our lives, uh, everything in the Bible is true which means Ananias and Sapphira really did die after lying. But here's the second thing I wanna make sure you know. The point of this story is not that you are going to immediately die the next time you lie. There's something that God is trying to teach, to teach us here, and it's how serious our sin is. So I want you guys to see this story and remember this story as um, a, a story teaching us the consequences of sin and how, how serious the consequences of sin really are. Sin is disobeying God, and it can really affect our lives in negative ways. When we sin, we break our, God's heart. We often hurt other people, and we experience pain ourselves. Sin doesn't do anything good in our lives, and because we are humans, we know we are going to sin for the rest of our lives. Whether it be lying, gossiping, becoming angry at your family, or anything else that disobeys God, you will probably sin every single day. But I do have some good news for you. You see, Jesus died so that you can be forgiven from all of your sins. Even though we can't be perfect, Jesus was perfect in our place. He took on the ultimate punishment for our sins on the cross. 
And guess what? When you trust in Jesus uh, as your savior, uh, you are saved from your sins. He helps you to not sin anymore. He begins to change your heart to not want to lie or be greedy like Ananias and Sapphira were. Will you trust in Jesus and experience forgiveness for your sins today? Look, I want you guys to think about times where you have lied, maybe even worse than Ananias and Sapphira have, or you've done any other sort of things that disobey God. You have an opportunity even today to trust in Jesus as your savior and to be saved from your sin forever. If you want to be saved, if you want to trust in Jesus as your savior, you should talk to us. Uh, come reach out to us here at the Paradox Church or talk to our pastors or talk to your parents or talk to someone who knows Jesus and can walk with you through that. So why don't we, why don't we finish up our time today with some worship? Ben, that was an awesome lesson, and it really stirs my heart for worship. And so I heard today we're gonna to be singing Doxology, which is a song of adoration. Yeah. Because, wait, what is it, Amy? Because God is worthy to be praised. So if you're able, stand up and let's sing. Praise God from
Guys, I've had so much fun reading the Bible and learning more about the Bible with you guys today. And now it's time for God to send us on mission. And Chase has got the word for us here. All right, so tonight I'm gonna to read from Matthew 28, verses 19 through 20. Please follow along. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. Mm. See you guys.